Hi, this is Drew Putani from Forarena.com and this is a video review of the LG Optimus G Pro. The spiritual successor to the Optimus G and more importantly, a culmination of design cues taken from its siblings and top of the line specifications, the Optimus G Pro packs a punch. So let's check out the device in depth. Let's talk about the design first. The LG Optimus G Pro clocks in at 150.2 by 76.1 by 9.4 mm. It has smooth corners, a beveled screen and the curvature of the edges of the back panel all help it fit well in the hand. The defining feature of the handset is definitely the display with the 5.5 inch panel occupying most of the front fascia of the device. The screen has a surprisingly thin bezel which makes it appear like an edge to edge display. Below the screen are two capacitive buttons which are flanking a hardware key located in the center. The hardware key works as a home key while the buttons on the right and the left correspond to menu and back respectively. Above the screen is the 2.1 megapixel front facing camera and the earpiece as expected. A proximity sensor can also be seen up top. The upper edge of the phone houses a 3.5mm audio jack and a rather inconspicuous IR blaster. The micro USB port lies at the bottom of the phone and over on the right you have the power key whereas the left side of the handset houses both the volume rocker as well as the quick button that can be configured as a shortcut to any app that you might want. By default it launches the quick memo application. The back of the phone is made of plastic and it doesn't feel very premium. LG has given the rear panel a very interesting finish that sparkles when light strikes it at certain angles. The square pattern elements look fairly attractive. The metallic LG logo is engraved in the plastic and above it lies the 13 megapixel camera sensor. Flanking the camera unit is the LED flash and the loudspeaker grille. Moving on to the display, the 5.5 inch True HD IPS panel with full HD resolution definitely lives up to the reputation. The colors are vibrant yet very accurate, unlike the oversaturated colors seen on AMOLED panels. The pixel density, while lower than that of the HTC One or the Samsung Galaxy S4, is still very impressive at about 400 ppi. Coming to sunlight visibility, we found the display on the LG Optimus G Pro to be fairly reflective, which hurts legibility. Touch sensitivity is top notch and it will detect touches even through fabric. While lacking a Wacom digitizer like on the Note 2, the screen is sensitive enough to take notes on using fingernails or a capacitive stylus. Talking about the software on board, the handset runs Android 4.1.2 and has LG's Optimus UI layer on top. Unlike the interface layers by the likes of Sony, the customizations here run deep and include a plethora of custom applications and even a range of themes to choose from. Right off the bat you'll notice a very cool magnifying glass effect while unlocking the screen and it shows the home screen contents below it. The lock screen itself displays a large clock with the current date. It is possible to customize the style of clock that you want on the lock screen. A row of 5 customizable quick shortcut icons can also be seen at the bottom. Tapping the hardware button below the display pops up a miniature version of the quick remote application allowing you to use the IR blaster without having to access the specific application. The home screen is a fairly standard affair and has a row of persistent application icons at the bottom that remain constant across the home screen panels. It is possible to delete or edit all of these except the launcher icon that can only be rearranged. Up to 7 icons can be placed here. The app drawer on the other hand is a grid of 5x6 icons. The notification panel on the LG Optimus G Pro appears very busy because of the range of toggles on offer. Additionally, a row of Q-slide applications line up under the quick access toggles. If that wasn't sufficient, it is also possible to have a mini IR remote show up in the panel. As expected, the music player controls too show up here dynamically as soon as you start playing a track. LG has built in its own implementation of multi-window displays that works quite well but is limited to only select built-in applications. Users can have up to two of these Q-slide apps running in windowed mode and have the option to adjust transparency as well. Customization options run deep in the interface layer and it is possible to manipulate almost every element of the interface to your liking. Right from the home screen transitions, icons to the notification LED hidden below the hardware home key, LG has built in options to let you have a very personalized experience. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 600 processor clocked at 1.7GHz and this is paired with 2GB of RAM. The GPU here is Adreno 320. Day-to-day -day performance is top-notch with no noticeable lags or slowdowns. The phone managed to blaze through any application that we threw at it. Paired with the gorgeous display, the phone makes short work of playing by high bitrate HD content and was overall a joy to use. 
the handset excels at gaming and you can see some of the tests that we did with the latest games on the LG Optimus G Pro. The Optimus G Pro has a 13 megapixel camera unit over at the back that is capable of shooting video in Full HD. A 2.1 megapixel camera module is at the top of the phone that is also capable of capturing 1080p video. LG's camera application provides an intuitive way to access the robust feature set that it offers and it includes a variety of camera modes to shoot in. These vary from the standard HDR panorama modes to a VR panorama which is a 360 degree shot burst shot and even a dual camera shot mode wherein the phone superimposes an image from the front camera over another shot by the rear camera or vice versa. Images shot with the Optimus G Pro look good for the most part. Noise does seem to creep in even in well lit subjects but the amount of detail is really good. Colors are usually fairly accurate but tend to lead towards oversaturation. We were quite surprised by the close up shots taken with the phone and autofocus tends to be fast, sharp and reliable. Being a flagship level device, the phone supports a wide range of connectivity options which includes quad band GSM, GPRS, Edge, dual band 3G with HSPA and even LTE for ultra high speed mobile internet. Built in storage is 16GB but you do get a micro SD card slot to expand that. The battery pack is rated at 3140mAh, the massive screen on the Optimus G Pro takes its toll on battery life and despite having the same specifications as the HTC One or the Samsung Galaxy S4. It doesn't really have anywhere close to the same longevity. That said, the handset can still last a workday of usage. The LG Optimus G Pro is a power packed handset with some very interesting software additions. With a top notch display, decent camera, and top of the line specifications, it is definitely worth considering if you're in the market for a new high end phone. The phone is priced at Rs 42,000 in India. If you enjoyed our video, do hit the like button and we'd love to hear your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.